Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I'm trying out a brand that I actually became really curious about by being obsessed with just one of their products. This face is pretty much a full face from the brand Thrive Cosmetics. And I fell in love with their mascara. I have talked about it. You guys know I love it. And I have yet to find a dupe that is anything like it. So since I needed more mascara, I decided to try their complexion products. And this is the look that I came up with. We did hit some snags along the way, so stay tuned for that. But before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. If you wanna see what products I picked up, how they applied, and how we put this look together, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, so I'm excited to film this video because I've been pretty curious about this brand. They've been around for a while and I, I know that I'm absolutely in love with their mascara, but Thrive Cosmetics has a lot of cosmetics products for complexion that I didn't know that they had. So I went and tried to buy pretty much as much as I could to do a full face. And so I have my box right here. It finally came in. I did pick up three mascaras because I don't order from their website often and you do have to meet a certain amount. I had a 20% off coupon. That was another reason why they had a set that you could build plus the 20% off. So I definitely felt like it was worth it. But we do have a primer. This is their filtered effects blurring primer. We also have a lip pencil. We have a their CC cream, which I have been very curious about for a while. I think I first saw this on Kathleen Light's web, um, website, on her YouTube channel. And I was like, I bet you they don't have shades for darker complexions. And they do, but it's a CC cream. So I know it's going to be limited, but it's limited. Um, I also picked up their Filtered Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. Y'all know I love trying new powders. I picked up their Cosmo Power 3D Strobing Highlighter. I also picked up the Triple Threat Color Stick. This is their Semi-Permanent Micro -pigment, Pigment Technology. This is called basically like a cheek lip kind of all-in-one product. I've been loving these lately. I also got their Liquid Balm Lip Treatment. I forgot I bought this because I just put something on my lips. I'm gonna put that on. Then I got a hydrating lip serum, their bronzer. Here are my three mascaras, which I guess I can open one because the other one I've had, I've had for years um, and it still works. And then I also picked up a concealer. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to wipe my lips off because I just put on my Patrick Ta gloss so my lips wouldn't be looking all crazy but I want to use this one so I'm going to put on the lip but I'm going to put on the primer first so this is their filter effects blurring primer it says it's their color grip technology and it says this is an invisible matte finish it says their high performance HD skin perfecting primer visibly reduces the appearance of pores and fine lines you know I love it to create an unbelievably smooth blurred base that grips makeup for a flawless all day wear. So I feel like this is like trying to be an all in one gripping, matte, pouring, all that good stuff. This does feel like those kind of silicone blurring primers, which I don't mind those as long as it stays matte. Cause I feel like sometimes those end up making you feel a little more greasy, but this has a nice slip to it. I'm gonna go ahead and get this hair pinned back so we can handle business. So do feel it drying down. It doesn't feel as slippery as it did before. So this is gonna be interesting, but I'm just gonna wipe my lips off. And then we're gonna go straight in with their lip products. So I have two. I have their limited edition pumpkin spice latte liquid balm lip treatment. And this says this is their lip filler technology. So it might be one of those plumping kind of things. 
And then I also picked up their Glossy Lip Hydrating Serum, but this is more like a gloss. It's in a shade that's a brown mauve, it's called. So we're gonna start with this one first. So it's just a clear tube, pretty standard packaging. Don't feel like it's anything like super, super spectacular, but it's nice. Yeah, I do kind of smell like it wants to have like a pumpkin-y scented. Is this the one that said the lip filler? Yeah, lip filler technology. So treat your lips to skin nourishing vitamins and plumping hydration. All natural vanilla and warm cinnamon with ginger and spices. Yeah, I smell the ginger and the spices and the cinnamon and all that. I don't feel that tingly feeling yet, which I actually prefer not to feel that if it can still do what it's supposed to do. But a lot of brands do that to make stimulate the lips, I guess. So whatever. I think our primer has set enough. So we're going to go ahead. I don't have that much in eye products. So I'm going to do all that stuff off camera. We're going to go in with their buildable Yes, Buildable Blur CC Cream. This is their Blur Effect Technology Broad Spectrum SPF 35. I got mine in the, in the shade Rich Tan, which says cool undertones. Mm -mm. <laughs> I tried to wait till I filmed this video, but I was like, I just want to swatch it and see this is not my shade. It is too light. For once, I picked something too light. Um, yeah, so I am going to return it. It looks like the return policy is really easy. I already started it, but I want to get this video out first. Um, they, you start the return online, they send you the like authorization code or whatever, and then they send you a label and say, ship it back. So I don't think I'm paying anything for shipping. I haven't seen that I am, but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the back of my hand to show you guys. This is what it looks like right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out so you can see. I just feel like once I have enough on to get some coverage, it's going to look a little tiny bit ashy. So I do have a darker powder to put over it. But we'll see. I don't know. I still feel like it's too light and I'm getting a darker shade. So we're just going to start with one pump. It does have a pump. I didn't show you guys that. It does have a pump at the top. So I thought that was pretty nice, but just based, like I'm used to my foundations, we're going to do two pumps, um, to my foundations being a little, this doesn't look cool. This looks neutral to me. I'm used to them being a little more red, a little darker. So we're just going to start, like, I feel like that's ashy, definitely not my shade. So we're going to do our best to make it work because I am going somewhere today. <laughs> and hopefully this darker powder will kind of add some life back. And I did pick up a bronzer, so that will help. But right off the bat, I do feel like this is giving some coverage. It is a, I would say a good light medium, leaning more towards the medium because I do see that it's covering my dark spots but that is definitely looking ashy on me. So, so I'm gonna go, I kinda don't wanna put too much because I feel like it's just gonna make me look even ashier, but I wanna see how buildable it is. Ooh, so we're gonna try another pump. This color though, Ooh, not the tea at all. Rich wear. This is not cool, I do know that much. If I don't know nothing else, I know this shade is not leaning cool but it is definitely building up oh lord probably wasn't a good idea to add more but i want to see if it'll build so this is where we're starting you can see i like the glow that it gives it does feel very light on the skin it definitely makes me feel like hair it has blurred out my pores a lot um wow I don't know if it's the combo, if it's just the CC cream or what, but I like the way it looks on the skin. I just don't like the shade. So we're gonna work with that. Um, yeah, we're a little ashy, <laughs> but let's just keep going. 
I knew this was going to be the case, so we're going to try not to focus on it too much. Okay, concealer. I got their HD Creaseless Concealer in the shade Tan Cool. This is what this shade looks like here. So I do feel like that is about on par for what I like. So I was happy to see that I got something right. Um, but once I blend that out, like I feel like that's not really like full coverage to me. I don't know if it says full coverage. <laughs> I'm sitting there making their claims for them. So it says, instantly erase the look of dark circles, conceal blemishes and perfect your complexion with our hybrid creaseless concealer. Infused with our proprietary eye serum, this effortlessly buildable skincare first formula visibly smooths fine lines and restores moisture. So it says apply where you want to correct, perfect and brighten, blend with your fingertips, sponge or a brush. So we're just going to go in with my brush and we're going to apply a little and we're going to let it sit to try to get as much coverage as we can. I do like the shade of this. It's kind of, it is cool. I can see the peachiness in it. So I do feel like it would be good for helping to conceal dark circles, but we're using it to highlight everywhere on the face. So I'm going to start off with my brush like I normally do and just try to pat this to keep as much coverage as possible. I will say I'm kind of glad this isn't too, too full coverage because my foundation is already light. So we don't want to make everything super, super light. I think it definitely blends well. You can see that it's definitely brightening, but it's not really changing the color. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't look like it's concealer, but it doesn't look like concealer. Does that make any sense? Probably not. It, it to me looks like the sun is hitting my face. Like I look highlighted, but not concealed. I don't know. This is definitely, I feel like this looks different than anything else I've used before. Let me go ahead and open this powder. So this is the Filter Effects Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. I did get it in translucent matte. So that's the component there. I didn't show you all the concealer component. Super cute, just pretty standard. I love this color too, this shade of teal. It comes with this weird top that you have to pull out. I can't tell if it is, okay, it's a lid. It just sits on top and it is a net. We know how much I love those. I wanted to try to bake a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I probably don't need to, to be honest. But I just wanna make sure that this gets set and does not move. Because it says it has the skincare ingredients and all that, I feel like it's not gonna be a very matte. It says, I don't know. It doesn't say what type of finish the concealer is, so I don't know if it's going to be matte, if it's going to move around. I'm going to have to use my brush. I hate these net things. I don't know why this is even an invention. Definitely want my sponge to press it in on my forehead for these lines. Yeah, it's definitely dimming the shine down. You can actually see on my forehead, if the camera's showing it right, like, soon as I put it down, <laughs> it is definitely matte. I like how my skin looks. It's just this shade. I cannot wait to get the correct shade. I'm gonna take a little bit more powder on a brush. I just wanted to get the initial part packed in and just lightly sweep. I really wanna make sure my under eyes do not crease. And you can see like this isn't set, it looks shiny. This is set and it is not. We do not have a setting powder and I kind of want to use one just to help with this shade. I have a mineral press powder I'm thinking about using, but I'm going to see what I can do with my bronzer first. This is the Blur and Sculpt bronzing powder. I got the shade Milan, which is a deep warm. I do think I went a little deeper than I needed to, which I tend to do with bronzers because I just feel like they're never going to be that deep or rarely look as deep as they do online. And this is called their Sun Chaser. This is like super cute and this is heavy. Kind of reminds me of the Gucci bronzer um, packaging. 
so y'all heard my words earlier, right? They were like, we're going to prove you wrong. This is a very deep shade. Ooh. It feels rough in the packaging, but that is dark. Ooh, Barbara. Okay, we got to be careful with this one. So I think I want to get a different bronzer brush because this one that I have is packed pretty tight. I'm going to dip in and try to get the excess off. Oh, my. Yeah, that's dark. Ooh, that is dark. I need a bigger brush, but I definitely can tell you that it is helping with this foundation. I need a brush that's not packed so densely so that it doesn't, cause I dipped some of that off on the back of my hand so that it doesn't um, pack on too much color. So let me grab another brush. I think this might be the biggest brush I have actually. This is a Real tex Techniques. I think, yeah, this is their blush brush but it's loose so hopefully it will help me not get too much oh no it's still <laughs> okay um hmm. it is still packing a punch this is really dark which again for what we're dealing with is not bad like that definitely helped out a lot on that shade I'm just hoping that I don't have any issues with something not blending out correctly because I'm basically just trying to like barely dip my brush in and it is still picking up a lot. I mean, I need it. I'm just trying to make sure it's precise and not looking muddy. Well, we definitely won't need that other powder. This is definitely, I don't even think this is like a summer shade for me. This is dark. They, wow. And I mean, yeah, they had a lighter shade, but I just, I really didn't think it was gonna be deep enough. So I went with what I thought I needed. I'm just gonna bring this all the way, all over my face and then build it up more in the areas I want to contour. I tell you what, they definitely did this right. So that did help bring some warmth to my face, which I am really excited about because that shade had me looking like I was sick. We're not gonna do too, too much as far as contouring. I do want this to be kind of like a light natural look since it is a CC cream. So I'm just gonna try to make sure all of this is even and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the products because I don't know, I feel like I feel like I like how this looks. It's a really light coverage, but it's coverage and it's blurring, if that makes any sense. All right, I decided to go ahead and do my brows while I was off camera just to get that done fast. So bronzer, super deep. So be aware if you are my complexion or even a little deeper, this may be a little too dark for you. So pick the next shade up or you're gonna have to use a super light hand with a loose, loosely packed brush. So now we're gonna move on to blush. This is their Triple Threat Color Stick. This is in the shade Tessa. And this actually is dual sided. So one side is the product and it twists up. And then the other side is a brush, which I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shade here. So super pretty berry shade. And then I just wanna make sure that's not gonna, no, it doesn't look like it will disturb the product too much. Do we just go in? What do we do? Oh, okay, let's try a few little dots. Can you see that? I think you can and just kind of angle that back and then take the brush and just pat it. I don't want to swipe because I already said I feel like this is, like my makeup was a little disturbed on that side. So mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like I normally do. I'm just gonna try to brush some of this off on my brush and see yeah, I think I like that better. <laughs> Feels safer 
but I definitely like the shade of this. It is a little more on the berry side. I tend to like more of like that terracotta kind of bronzy, more than berry red, but this is this can work too. I'm just gonna go back in the front and kind of blend around just to make sure I don't look too crazy. But we know I love my blush, so we definitely want it to show. Are we ready for lips? Let's go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'm mad about this. So the lip liner, I got the darkest one that they have. And this is their, also says semi-permanent micro pigment technology lip filler lip liner. And this is in the shade khaki. This is the darkest one that they had and it is not dark enough. I had to try it on. This pencil is very, very sharp. This looks ashy too. Um, I mean, not sharp, soft. So that's the shade right there. That is not dark enough. But I wore this with a clear gloss and it literally looked like the outside of my lips, but a little darker and I filled them in and then put the gloss and I actually like how it looked. So... I mean, you can see like that doesn't look like it's doing anything at all. And I was like, oh, this makes me so mad, but I don't know. I just, something about it. I don't know. There's no other shades that I like on the website. So I may end up just sending it back and just not having a lip liner from them. I was just really curious about the technology with the semi-permanent lip filler and all that. So let's see here, since my lip is darker. So you can see the difference. It doesn't look compared to this side. I don't know, like, I feel like it does something, but I don't feel like it does enough. I just wanted to show you guys this. <laughs> I'm going to put on the lip product that they have. I'm just going to go right over it. Um, well, actually, I'm going to use my finger since I have on their lip product. Um, I just wanted to be able to show you guys what everything looked like. But I do feel like I'm going to need to go in with a darker liner with this just so it doesn't look like my lips are getting lost in my face. I don't think I would just go like this. Let me finish the rest of my face and see. I'll put the other lip liner on in front of you. Like I'll do that on camera if I decide to do it. And it's nice to see this is buildable. We're gonna leave it like this for now. I do like this shade. I wish they had more. I wish they had more shades of the lip liner. I wish they had more shades of the foundation, the CC cream. So yeah, love what this brand stands for. They donate a lot of money to help women who have been in shelters and need help getting back on their feet. So I appreciate that. I just feel like it's a bit limited, you know? So grab a makeup wipe. So yeah, that is the product, the lip product and the cheek product. So now we're gonna move to, what else do we have? Oh, I forgot to mention the lip liner also comes with a little sharpener on the end. So if you need to sharpen the pencil, I think that's great. But yeah, this shade is not the T. So it's probably going to go back. I was thinking about keeping it, but I have too much makeup to keep stuff that I'm probably never going to reach for. So this is in the shade Liberty, which says it is a pale, pale gold shimmer. And I believe it is the same packaging as the bronzer. It is, so again, super cute. And then this is what it looks like. So very pretty. I definitely think it's a subtle, and again, since this is a CC cream and kind of like, you know, your everyday look, that goes along with what I thought it would be, so I'm gonna take my high, oh, she got a lot picking up on the brush, my highlighter brush. Yeah, that is pretty. And I don't feel like it's accenting 
or highlighting my texture too much, so that's a good thing. So you could build it up, but that is already blinding, but you could build it up even more. I just don't feel like I need to. And I feel like everything just kind of looks like it came together. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the mascaras and show you why I absolutely love this. I got three of the shade Brin, which is a rich black. They have a brown, and then I think the other one's a soft black or something like that, but I ain't got time for that. This is a tubing mascara. I have yet to find anything else like it that works as well as this one does. I mean, it is a pain to have to go through their website. I wish this was in the store, but I just, this is so good. Try not to touch my lid like I always do because I would like to try to wear this with no eyeshadow today. Like, look at the difference. That is so good. And I don't even have to curl my lashes. I do have naturally curly lashes. Okay, I see that concealer is creasing already on my eyelid. So I did not do a good job setting that but I will go back and do that. Okay, now that I see the difference with a new tube, I definitely needed a new tube because my other one was getting super clumpy. But I mean, y'all, I had that for years. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. I just love how black this goes on and like, it's not too clumpy. I just feel like that is so pretty and so youthful looking. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes too, but I'm gonna wait for this to dry. But I just, I love this mascara, especially wearing contacts. It's so easy to take off. You just use your little cleanser and the tubes come off. Nothing's getting in your eyes, nothing crazy. It's just so, so good. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to get this mascara if nothing else. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and I can't do anything while that is happening because I always get it on my under eye. So I'm gonna come back, probably put a little bit of bronzer in my crease and that is gonna be it for this look. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. I did go ahead and put a little tiny bit of bronzer in my crease and then I put a little bit of the highlighter on my inner corners just to make it pop a little more. I forgot I do still have the lip serum but it is in the shade pamela which is a brown mauve and this is what it looks like so i do kind of feel like i maybe need to put i don't even know if this lip liner is dark enough i need something <laughs> just to not lose the outline on my lips that is much better already so let's go ahead and put the gloss and see this just says it's a hydrating lip serum featuring the shine of a gloss and the intensity of a lipstick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much the shade of what I had on already. So I like it though. Definitely feels hydrating. It feels like a gloss with a little more, without the stickiness. I like this a lot. I'm glad I remembered to use it. So yeah, this is the final look, kind of like a put together, clean girl, little bit of color, just, I tried so I can get out the house. Quick rundown, y'all know I love the mascara. I love that gloss. The highlighter is nice. The bronzer, I like it. It's just too deep. I don't know if I want to exchange it I might try to exchange it and get my shade so I can use it the way I like to use it. Um, the setting powder, I like that as well. I don't feel like there was anything that was like, oh my God, this is so great. I do like the foundation and the primer and I may like it even more once I get my shade. But right now I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know. I do feel like it definitely had some blurring properties. I think my skin looks good. So yeah. 
I got to figure out what I'm exchanging, <laughs> what I'm sending back. But this is a full face or as much of a full face as I could do with Thrive Cosmetics. And I'm happy with how the look turned out. Y'all comment below. Tell me what you think about it. And let me know if you've tried any of their products. Do you have any favorites from the brand? Or what do you think was something that if you were buying, you would probably have to pass on? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.